I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Good morning, everyone. Today I am in Nova Scotia. I'm just outside of Halifax in Black Point, and it's absolutely stunning. The weather is fantastic, although it's a little bit foggy this morning. I can assure you it's a beautiful day. And we are headed later on today to the city of Halifax, Nova Scotia, where we're going to see the end of the Great Race. Now, the Great Race happens once a year, and it doesn't always end up in Canada. It has on occasion, but this is kind of an anomaly, and we just so happen to be here, so we're going to go check it out. Let's go see. And we are here, so we've got a parking spot right across the street from the event. So, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's head out. So, we have about an hour and a half before the cars all show up next door, but we noticed that there's something called Rib Fest happening, so we're going to stop and get some ribs and see what the food trucks have here. Now, I didn't even know until today that this was even a thing. Apparently, these guys make their ribs all across the country, all across North America, and they compete to see who's got the best ribs. Now, they're very proud of their awards, and the table with the most trophies has the most bragging rights. We're gonna try these guys out and see how their ribs are. How is it, Abigail? Oh, I see. Steven is my hot sauce lover, and he yes, just found a hot sauce place. Can't you see the pretzel one? Can't you see the pretzel? You guys didn't have a pretzel. Now you have a box. Okay, here's your sauce, buddy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Steven, so what was the hot sauce you picked out? Stargazer, I don't know. It's got like scorpion peppers. Let's have a look at the it. bottle there. Yeah. So that if a skeleton's mouth is on fire from eating so much heat, you know it's got to be hot. So that's his special treat today. Let's have a look around, guys. Soon, this parking lot in front of us will be full of classic cars from all across North America. We're going to come back and see that when they arrive in about an hour. But for now, it's going to be walking around and checking out the gorgeous pier on this slightly foggy but lovely day here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So this is the finish line right behind me. Everybody's starting to get ready. The camera guys are getting here. Uh, the excitement is starting to mount up. We're gonna wait and see the cars pull through, but hopefully we'll see some really neat stuff in the next couple minutes here. Some of these guys have come a really long way, like the wandering troubadours of Finland. Boys and girls, welcome to the 2018 Hemmings Motor News Great Race presented by Haggerty. This is the finish line. Over the last nine days, teams of drivers and navigators have been challenged by a set of course instructions which has taken them from Buffalo, New York to here in Halifax. This has been a timed endurance rally where every instruction must be followed closely. There's $150,000 to be won. One team today will win $50,000 for having the best score of all. There are roadsters, two-seaters, sports cars. There are teams from the United States. There are teams from Canada. Two teams from England. Three teams from Japan that have made up this competition this year. This is a timed endurance rally. Each morning, 30 minutes prior to their departure, a driver and navigator are presented with a set of instructions. They are graphic in design. They would have arrows and stop signs and railroad tracks and very visual signs of what the uh, teams are to look for. The driver's job is to drive. The driver does exactly what the navigator says to do. Throughout the day, they cross checkpoints. If they go through the checkpoint at precisely the right moment, 
they will score a score of zero or an ace. It's like a hole in one. And that's what you're trying to get. The more aces you achieve, the lower your score. The lowest score is the winner. I work for Coker Tire Company, the digital marketing manager for that group. Coker Group owns the great race. We are very enthusiastic about supporting the collector car hobby. We couldn't do this without support from Coker and our sponsors, Hemings Motor News, Haggerty Insurance, so on down the line, reliable carriers. We couldn't do it without the support of these great towns. Um, it takes a lot to put something on like this free to the public, bringing the old cars and trucks to the people. So what was it? Nine days ago, we left Buffalo, New York. They rally 150, 200 miles a day on the clock. Um, throughout this, Motormouth is from Ontario, Canada, so he's been my guide. He's helped me understand Celsius. I struggle with that mightily. Kilometers. I was very excited when we came into Canada that it was 110 posted as the speed limit. I was so excited. I was quickly informed that there was a K and an M behind that. I was a little bit disappointed. I still drove 110. Um, Corky, come over here. The rare tree. This man saved the great race. It was struggling back in 2009. My boss man, now retired on the farm, spending time with his family. Corky, say a few words about the race. We're in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And we have brought some wonderful great racing cars that have rallied all across the, the back roads of uh, Canada, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, and New York and uh, we've had a wonderful time. I gave a little speech to all the crowd at the start and, and it, I think some of those words were, let's show everybody what it is to care about your fellow man and love each other. You know, whether all along the way and care for each other. And let me tell you something, this great race in 2000, 2018, the Hemings Motor News great race presented by Haggerty has certainly done that. We've had several incidents on this race. We had a 68 Mustang upside down. God protected us and protected these guys that are here and will be here tonight at our banquet. We also had two guys that turned over on their side and could have run off the end of a mountain and one of us didn't spare his car, pulled in front. I, I tell you, if that's not showing what real love is, I don't know, you know, had his daughter in the car, put himself in harm's way, stopped it from going off the certain death, going off Mount Washington. What a wonderful, wonderful hobby we have. Car people, I've, I've spoke, many of you that are support have heard me say several times, car people are the best people in the world. I've earned my living with car people all my all my life. Thank you for being here at the finish line. You guys really root these fo folks on, on when they come in, give them a great big round of applause. And as Motormouth and Jason very ably have, have announced this whole race, there's $150,000 that we will give away tonight. Not give away, these folks have earned that. And anybody that thinks it's you know, you just drive and you go by the checkpoint at exactly the right time and it's pretty easy. I've never been in one of these great race cars trying to, uh, to, to rally and get these perfect scores that they get. It's a wonderful event that we love. Thank you for being here with us in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Give these folks a big round of applause when they come in. Thank you. Thank you, Gordy. It shouldn't be long now, ladies and soon. gentlemen. Goodness. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First car in the 1932 Ford Speedster out of Bennington, Vermont. Say hello to Jim Minetto, the publisher of Hemmings Motor News, and Stephanie Sego. And as they, as they arrive, ladies and gentlemen, they will be presented with a medallion the motto of the great race is to finish, is to win. Manetto and Seco, Bennington, Vermont, 1932, Ford Speedster. Right behind them, out of your city, here comes Team Bellieu, 
John and Denise Bellier, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Rookies in their 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air convertible. They have represented Halifax all across the great race. Man, is that cool to have them here now. How cool is that? Welcome them, bring them on in. From Tyrone, Georgia. Welcome Tony Knowles, Beth Gentry in Pops Fashion. Entry number 66, a retired car. They won the $50,000 last year, and we'll find out at four o'clock this afternoon how successful they have been this year. They are the defending champions, uh, the youngest uh, race team in the great race this year. Right behind them out of Beecher, Illinois. Say hello to Jeff Frenette and Eric Frenette. A member of the American Motorcycle Association Hall of Fame since 2002, Jeff Frenette, recognized around the world for his motorcycle racing skills. He and his son Eric are here. I believe they are a top five or six car. Not even Motormouth knows their score. Jeff and Eric Frenette, 1933 Ford Model B, by the way. Right behind them, out of Corona Del Mar, California, Aaron and Brad Kaplan, sportsmen in their 66 Mustang. Aaron and Brad, husband and wife team. Yeah, they've rallied in uh, uh, the uh, Panamericana as well in, in uh, Mexico. They are serious ralliers. Bring that Mustang home. Congratulations on your finish. Entry number 16, the Mustang Sallies. Terry Chivas, Kitchener, Ontario. Caitlin Stahl, Gross Point, Michigan. Part of the Team Stahl race group. Six entrants this year. 260 cubic inch Mustang. Yeah, awesome car. Brand new aces from this event down the hood. They're starting their collection. Hard, very difficult to come by those aces. So to score an ace, you need to go through a checkpoint at the precise second you should. Not early, not late, but right on. It's called an Eckler's Ace. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, a grandfather and grandson team. They are past grand champions. The young man driving this car navigated the great race several years ago when he was 13 years old. He won this thing. At 25, he is already a, a PhD graduate. Dr. Sawyer Stone with his grandfather, Dave Reeder. They are out of the great state of Arkansas. 1932 Ford, the wonderful Ford Victoria. They finished another great race. Bring it on in. Sawyer Stone and Dave Reeder. So we have the, the luxury and the honor of celebrating Sawyer's birthday every year on the great race. We have. I called her last night to tell her the race was almost over. She said, ah, oh, you're coming home, aren't you? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hot contenders out of Baldwinsville, New York. They were leading this thing coming into today. We don't know the final scores, but grandfather and grandson out of Baldwinsville, New York, John Hudson, uh, Scott Hudson, the Navigator, 1940 Chevrolet, Master Coupe, Stove Bolt 6, and they have come on like gangbusters. They led the rally at the end of yesterday's results. We'll have to wait till tonight to see how they've done, but great drive. John Hudson, Scott Hudson. Right behind them out of Lockport, New York. Say hello to Keith Wallace, Lockport, New York. Rick McIntosh, again out of Lockport, New York. The Max Auto, 1930 Ford Racer. To finish is to win. I didn't think we'd see that car again, but Max Tools, uh, Ma Max Use Parts have brought it back in. Great to have that car here. Great little car, one of many Model A entries. You will see them in various configurations, a plastic speedster body, a little race car body. Yeah, this thing goes as well. Grand Prix Special. 
Right behind them, ladies and gentlemen. The Hill Country Run Road Runners. This is a rookie team that has really picked up on this game very, very quickly. Say hello to Dan and Pat Martin out of New Braunfels, Texas. The 1965 Corvette Coupe husband and wife team. They went from Texas to Florida last year to find out what this is all about. Then they got up and rallied, and here they are, top contenders. Uh, we will see uh, at 4 o'clock tonight just how well they have actually done. Dan's, Welcome. Dan's business is restoring Corvettes. We had a great conversation about which one to bring. I think they chose well. How about you? 65 Corvette Coupe. They're lighting it up as rookies. A recent, recent factory trailer lights on the back. Team and they, uh, they did their homework for sure. Here's an X Cup team, a bunch of college kids, ladies and gentlemen, out of Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Say hello to Team DeSoto, Adam Grogan, Nick Barber, Zane Waits, John Valley. They're out of Cedartown, Georgia, 1955. DeSoto, Fire Flight. You know, you could put a team together here in Halifax, call it the Halifax X Cup team. They could uh, come rallying with us next year. We're gonna do Southern California, right up to Seattle, Washington. Get Halifax on the map of old cars. X Cup, college or high school kids, I've bring been, it on in. I've been working on a name, Motor Mouth, for the Halifax X Cup team. How about the Blue Nose Special? Well, I think that'd be cool. That and the CFL team would go a long way to put Halifax back on the map. Bring it on in. These are past grand champions, ladies and gentlemen, out of Fairport, New York. They have won this event twice. Can they do it three times? Meet Howard Sharp, the navigator Doug Sharp, out of Fairport, New York, 1916. Hudson, Pikes Peak Hill Climber. Now that is one tough beast of a car to drive. They've won this thing twice. They won originally in 2011 in a 100-year-old Veely. Veely's were cars made by the uh, John Deere family. And then uh, they got modern. They went right up to 1916 with this Hudson Pikes Peak Hill Climber. Howard and Doug Sharp. And they know what it is to put that medallion around their neck. The finish is to win. Restoration Supply, thank you again for sponsoring this awesome team. Where is my Fairport, New York cheering squad? Right behind them, 1964 Chevy 2 Nova. They finished another great race. Gary and Jean Ann Martin out of Simpsonville, Kentucky. 1964. Chevy 2 Nova. This car littered with Eckler's Ace Awards. They are very serious competitors as well. Gary and Jean Ann, sponsored by Coker Tire Company. Nice set of rallies and red line radials on this car. Bring it on in, Jean Ann and Gary. Isn't that cool? Even with just four fingers, they are very serious competitors. Now, uh, four fingers and red lines. That's what makes that car. This next car in, ladies and gentlemen, has a, been able to tell a wonderful story. This family left New York to come to Halifax in 1783, and last night they managed to reconnect with cousins they had never met. Would you welcome Ken Curry, Lawrence States, Altered States out of White Plains, New York. Marvelous, marvelous uh, a reunion of family for the first time. Tracing back her genealogical roots to 1783. Beautiful little 1965 Ford Ranchero Deluxe, 289 cubic inch V8. Great Ken. car, great competitive team, always with big Thank smile. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Lauren. Welcome to Halifax. I know that this arrival has been very important to you. And uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama. This is a 1966 Ford Mustang. Travis Henderson, 
and his fiance, Haley Lewis. They figured if they could put nine days together in a Mustang, they can make it for a lot longer. So uh, recently engaged, and uh, here they are at the finish line in Halifax. Travis Henderson, Haley Lewis. Cool. There is a marriage now forged in fire. Yes. She has been telling him to do all week long. They've been smiling every step of the way. I told him in his quietly, you'll be fine, bud. That may not last, uh, but uh, for the last nine days, it's been awesome. To sit in the car with you all day long, tell you where to go and what to do for all day. And she, you can't talk back. And I can't talk back to her. I just say, yes, ma'am. The Kaplan team, he is the navigator. He gets to tell her what to do all day long, and they're still smiling. They've got a, they've got a solid relationship. No, the navigator's job is to keep time and to keep you on course and on time, right? It's very challenging. We've traveled along. The so the cars are still rolling in as we pounds. speak right now. There's always a gap when you have a rally because they don't all show up at the same exact time. But we're gonna check out some of the cars that have pulled in so far. And as the cars pull in, they all find themselves a little spot. Now, there's a few cars here that have won this race before in previous years. Hudson's been a contender. The old Chevy's. 1930 Riley Road Racer. And now, as you see the cars, they've got all these stickers on them. Some are to identify it as being part of the race. The other, the smaller decals across the doors, that is for when they actually hit a checkpoint at the exact right time. And of course, rally racing, that's what it's all about. It's a time trial, it's about accuracy, and it's about making it in one piece. So we'll walk down, have a look at some of the cars, and check back in later on. But so far, it's been a really fun event. We're gonna just pan over here to the other side. See a couple of the other cars that have showed up. And this is the Hemmings Motor News car. It was actually the first to arrive today. And it looked like it aced a bunch of checkpoints as well. So I'm sure they'll be all very excited tonight to find out who the winner was. That's quite the setup under the hood, isn't it? These girls were selling programs on the great race. Last year, they got dad to put a car together that him and his father had built. They won the rookie division their first time out. Very serious sportsman competitors. Noonan, Georgia, the Dixie Darlings. Out of the Evergreen State, Washington State, in a 1955 Studebaker president, Anna Gret Reichman and Ulrich Kamholtz finish yet another great race. One of five Studebakers. Some years it just so happens we have a, a, a number of marks of orphaned cars and five Studebakers this year. Awesome, awesome uh, car. Anagret has that car shining each and every day. Here once again, the 55 Studebaker president. Or so. Welcome Brad Phillips, ladies and gentlemen. Great to have Brad here. Uh, this is part of the stall group. Brad uh, competes uh, uh, re regularly Monday to Friday. He works for Haggerty. Along with him, uh, Dan Stahl from the stall group, uh, Gross Point, Michigan. This is a 1935 Auburn Phaeton. Brad did not think he would make the whole trip, but uh, what a wonderful ride they've had this year. Brad Phillips, Dan Stahl in the 1935 Auburn. Curl, Louisiana and Pekin, Illinois. Richard Frenette, Jim Cottle, the 1930 Ford Model A Speedster. This is one great little hot rod. They will be in the money at the end of the day. Right, That's a stunning right behind them, a very original GMC half-ton pickup. Brent Herman out of Manchester, Vermont. William Burns out of Dorset, Vermont. 1940. 
So you guys want to go look at some of the cars? Excited to see trucks in the yeah. rally competition. Okay, let's go check ago, it out. So you guys think we should do this in one of our cars? So I'm trying to convince the family that maybe we should do this one year, but I've got no takers so far. Maybe Abigail? You think? No? Maybe when they're older. And I love to take the kids to events like this, not only to see the old cars, but to see the sense of community that you can build with fellow enthusiasts. It's a great time for everyone. Now let's see if we can find a couple of these great racers to interview and see how the trip went for them. So first off, very cool car. So how did you guys get involved in the race? Well, we had a sponsor approach us at the school and uh, asked if we wanted to put together an Echo Cup team for this great race. And uh, of course, after some, you know, some, some speculation and some doubt, we, uh, we came to the conclusion that this was a legit deal. And once we got into it, uh, he, he hooked us up with this beautiful car here. We rebuilt it from front to back, everything about it. Um, we put together a team. We tried out for it, had tryouts. Uh, and we, we ended up with two drivers and two navigators. And the, the race has been a learning experience. The, the race experience itself, we had no idea what we were coming into. We learned everything we needed to know on the first couple of days of the racing. Uh, so our first couple of days, our times were great. But uh, as the days progressed, we did better and better. So, so what was the trickiest part of the journey? The trickiest part of the journey, honestly, was the math. Uh, doing the math, doing the time loss calculations um, up all night between days of racing and just doing time loss calculations and trying to figure out how much time to, to, to allow for this or that, acceleration, deceleration. And you guys get any aces on the trip? Uh, we didn't, unfortunately we did not, but we had some fantastic time days. Um, and we were, we were literally set to win today until we had a broken part. We had a, a failed part today. Oh, what happened uh, on the car? We had a rotary button explode on us. Oh, and it's always so, the cheapest part on the car too, right? It's, it's, uh, it's always the five dollar fix. But you made it in. So when did you get yeah, the part? They, uh, these guys, I, I wasn't there with them today, unfortunately, but they uh, had some little uh, on the spot ingenuity and put some cardboard and some duct tape on it, made it work, and lifted on across the finish line. Oh, well, that's fantastic, guys. And what school are you with? We're with Georgia North, uh, Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Okay, well, how, that's fantastic, guys. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Scott Hi. Tams. All right. Tams. All right, so tell me about your car, guys. We're from Michigan. We have a 1929 Model A Ford Speedster. We just drove it 2,300 miles from Buffalo, New York, here to Halifax. We just finished the great race in it. The car ran spectacularly. We had no issues at all. No issues. One screw back out of the carburetor and one bolt holding up our spare tire. Beyond that, the car ran great. We broke it. I mean, we cracked it a little bit. Yeah, we cracked the body up a little bit. That's so, racing. So did you guys hit any rain, any bad weather? Oh, three days. We had torrential rain. And where was that? On Thursday, it was 14 degrees. And torrential. It rained, I, I think, uh, oh, what was that? Inches. Yeah, it rained, well, in the U.S., probably about three inches of rain in the six hours we, we were had, driving. We, they ran us down a dirt road. We had, had rivers running down the road, and we were sledding down the dirt road. Now, I don't see a top on that car either. No, no, no top. We got we had drenched <laughs> and frozen. We had, we had hypothermia by the time we got into Bar Harbor. Wow, and so would you say that was what the trickiest part of the trip? It was oh, yeah. It was probably the, the craziest in driving because you could see about 30 meters down the road at, at speed. And wow. So we were, it was, it was something that I don't want to do again. By some miracle though, it was our best day. We had a 13 second day, which is really good. And did you guys get any aces along the way? We got five. Five aces. Congratulations, so guys. So we may have a couple more today. Yeah, well, we got two more today. Congratulations. You've earned this beautiful weather here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Thanks. Thanks. And welcome to Canada, Glad guys. Glad to be here. <laughs> Chap, um, eight to one high compression head. It's got the lion speed head. It's got uh, insert bearings, it's got a, a billet crank, pressure oil. So you probably had no problem keeping up with traffic at all. Oh no, this thing will go 70 in, 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 and it's quick as a jackrabbit and it uh, turns like a slot car. Now you guys just have to see this next car. It is something out of this world.
Over the next few hours, more and more cars are going to come across the finish line, and these drivers take great pride in not only restoring their vehicles, but making sure that they are practical, reliable, and going to be a great contender in the race. So we're going to watch a few more cars come across the line on this beautiful July day in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So another great day, a fantastic event. If you haven't checked out their website, make sure to check out The Great Race. Uh, 2018 is the year that we covered. They do this every year, definitely worth checking out. And special thanks to Haggerty Insurance for the free hats for the kids. It was sunny out today and definitely came in handy for the rest of this trip. Also, if you want to find out the winners of the race, check out thegreatrace.com and see all the different categories of winners, including rookie, expert class, and so on. It was an amazing event and glad we could attend. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca or on Instagram and Facebook as well. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.